in this video i'm going to show you what i actually do so when you're gaming or you making video content mainly when you're gaming you see like these little gray boxes within your screen i kind of sort of said this before but in case you didn't get it i'm gonna explain it to you again and also to convert 720p monitors or 1080p monitors into 1440p which is actually like a better pixel so it doesn't look crazy you know how it goes right and i'm gonna show you everything that i do even the bit rate that is recommended that i use <clears throat> so let's get to it right uh i'm uh, i'm dual pc streaming so i'm using two pcs with uh, elgato hd 60x Plus, and I'll put the links to that in the description to this video. This is not a sponsored video, but it's an amazing product uh, that I've been using. And it also helps out a lot when you're using two PCs. That's what works for me, right? So, but you could do this with one PC, but two monitors, right? If you're using two monitors. So the reason why you have in the gray boxes is because one monitor is always off track like this first monitor my main monitor right here is actually in 1080 and you're gonna see that at the bottom right here you see right here is in 1080p i don't know why that's showing up a little lighter but maybe i could uh darken it right quick for you just so you can see it so i'm gonna make it a little uh sharper as a matter of fact, I'm going to let all you guys see how I actually do that to make the... You can make the image sharper in this video because you could do it on actual, like, uh, on your video capture. You can add filter. And then uh, I have it right here. It says sharpen is one of them. And you just press sharpen. It's going to make just this, just me, more sharper. Pop. You get it? You tap on it again, and it's... Just on its regular settings, it's on 20, but you could put it up and you're going to see me get sharper, right? Like, so if you have any little marks in your face, it's going to make it look crazy. So you can either lower it or put it up or put it all the way down uh, so you can lessen the sharpness of your face or whatever is in that video capture. So we're going to shut that off, pop, right? Uh, you also got this as like a super different lighting pop right that's the chroma key and this i meant this one up here color key pop now when i turn it on i have a set where it fixes so it helps out with your visual but let's get to the sharpness of the capture right so this is a display captures it normally says i have it music because i was capturing uh youtube videos or whatever and i have that to my go xlr whatever so you go to filters once you hit on display you left click it it's gonna open and then you press here on the plus icon and you get a sharpen pop i'm gonna do it brand new so it says two because there's two of them open and then you put it up bing so you've seen how it was before and now you're gonna see the difference on the sharpen <clears throat> when you see this behind me pop you see it's darker now so if you go back and you shut that off you're gonna be able to tell a major difference pop pop look how it is now but on my main pc i see it amazing i see it dark i see it so i don't know why when it captures it it's super lighter but then again my main pc has a different hardware than my streaming pc so that could be it you get it, it's two total different graphics cards and I'm using that another graphics card in my streaming PC to encode and shoot out the stream and the recording. So that could be it. I don't know. But if that happens to you, you already know that you go open up your OBS studio. I'm figuring that's what you're using. Pop, you go there, you add a sharpen, ping. And you put it up high or low, however you want. Let's leave it up at 69 for now, pop. Oh, my God. What did, why did we do that? Okay, cool, ping. So there we are. So you see right here, this is what's going to save you from actually 
those little gray boxes and those gray boxes show up in your gameplay and it messes up it's super pixelated you can't even raise it here you see where it says recommended 1080p that's because this monitor is a aoc uh 1080p monitor you get it and 1080p don't matter what you do at 8000 bit rate 6,000 bit rate, even 12,000 bit rate in a fast game, it looks like doo doo, my dude. This is facts. The only thing that I found that makes, unless it's 720p, and that's because it goes into 1440p correctly. Now, mind you, I stream on a 1440p monitor, which is behind me. I'm not on it now. And I capture that to a 1080p monitor, but I do exactly what I'm going to show you right now. You get it? So either way, this is an amazing thing to do. So you go to your NVIDIA control panel. It's probably going to be in here. Or you type it in. Pop, you open it up. And there's a thing right here in where it says manage 3D settings. And you're going to go down, scroll down. And it's on, but make sure you're on that monitor, actually, first of all, which it is, right? So this is the monitor. The second monitor shows up as the Elgato, but is, is, this is another AOC monitor, right? But you see is at 1080p, my main monitor, and, and there's no other way to put it up to 1440p. It's either it's native or PC. I leave it on PC. I don't know, but here goes the main trigger row. You go to manage 3D settings, ping. You scroll down. You use the... Now, you press on this. These two things need to be on. Pop and pressed, right? Now, you should be able, hold on, <laughs> Bing, hopefully that's not too sharpened, I think it is, but you're going to go to where it says, right here, uh, it says on it, actually, DSR factor, you're going to press on it, and it's going to be probably off, you're going to want to turn it on, and it's going to say, 2560 by 1440, right? And then the bottom is going to say 2880 by 1620, right? Most people just hit both of them. I try to just hit one. I don't know why, but I just do because I don't go to 1620. So I only hit this second one, pop, when it doesn't work with the top one. Sometimes it acts up. You could press on it, especially... If you have OBS and it's opened at like 1080 or whatever, and you're trying to do this at the same time. So you got to like try to do it again until it catches it and your monitor is going to blink and then you know it's working. <laughs> right? So we can leave this one off. Pop, you press on it. And it's either going to work or not work, right? And it's, it's probably not budging because it was already on. You get it? So, ping. You hit here. Now it lets you change to 2560 by 1440. Ping. You tap on that. Your monitor blinks and shuts off like this one just did. It's going to say keep changes. You press OK. Hopefully the signal will come right back, which it nine times out of ten should. But the monitor is dark for now. Until I come back up with OBS Studio. So what you got to be careful with is that it changes your other monitor. It's, if you're using a capture card, right? It changes that into like a, a sRGB. And then it changes your second monitor through the capture card at 120 frames or, or or plus right it puts it higher than at 60 because you only could stream to youtube and these platforms at 60 but i have a way around that because i just leave the elgato capture card at default settings i'm explaining more than i have to 
But for those that understand, you understand, right? So the Elgato capture card, I leave it at match the, the output FPS or at default. I, and I normally leave it at default. So I don't look for the 1440 and the Elgato. I just leave it at default. So whatever is going through this PC is going through there and it's just at default. It's just capturing it anyway. You get it? So you got to make sure after you do all that, because this monitor may stay at 60 frames per second. See how they match now? That's the problem right there. You want them both to be like this, matching, pop. You want them both to be the same size. So one was 1080 and one was 14. Now it stretched this number one and it made it that. But you still got to go over here to where it says it's behind me right here. It says advanced display settings. You tap on it, pop, and you see it's at 60. I don't know if you can see it right there, but this is the Elgato capture is at 60. Make sure the color format is at RGB unless you want it on sRGB and that whole TV situation. But you go up here to the top, you look for your monitor, which is one ping. You press on it and then it's at 60 still ping. That needs to change, but it's not going to change right there. It's not clicking. So you go ping. And you go behind me, it says right here, it's under above me. You see above me, it says display adapter properties for display one. You press on it. You go to uh, monitor. And then you click right here, ping. And then it's going to let you put up the hertz to 120, 165, whatever it's supposed to be. You apply it. It blinks and shuts it back on. You hit keep changes, ping. And then you press OK, ping. And there goes your monitor at the refresh rate that it's supposed to actually be on, which is this monitor, 165. Ping, right? So now you close that, boom. And in Elgato, you go to the set, I mean, in OBS, you go to settings, ping. And you make sure that in video and all that is at 14. That looks super sharp. Let me, let me lower that. Like the color, it even changed the coloration. But then again, I'm using a. A green screen. <laughs> so anyway, boom, right here where it says video. I don't know if you can still see it now. It says uh, 2560 by 1440. You could always change that. Right. And a lot of people like to use output scaling i just put both of them at the same and if i'm streaming my output i just leave this disabled it's rare and i stream at 25,000 bit rate for 1440p uh better quality uh the tuning is high quality and multi-pass i put two passes and everything is on two gpu should be at zero max uh b frames two key interval two bang and then I use this uh, video encoder, which is H.264. I try to use the e, uh, H, uh, EVC situation with my streaming PC, and it still looked it crappy. I never tried it at with a 25,000 bit rate, but they say you should use lower for that, and it didn't work. It looked like, like this screen was melting, so I don't know, but... That's how you stretch your screen. And I'm on two uh, monitors that are both 1080p monitors, right? So let's see real quick the gameplay of 1440p and how does it look right now in this recording. While this updates, because of course I went into the game and there's an update like always. But here's the thing that don't matter what happens, and I've studied this for years every day i go through this like i want the game whether i'm drifting whether i'm playing call of duty whether i'm playing i know i stream and i do it on purpose i stream in 720 60 frames per second even though i'm playing at a way higher right so i there's one thing that stands out to me the most there's a key factor in this whole thing and this is why i have 
the highest internet service that you can have. There is no higher in the company that I have, right? I have unlimited gaming and streaming internet gamers connection, right? And you got to tell your company just like that and tell them with no cap, right? And I don't use Wi-Fi. But even if you had to, if you got that service, you when you gaming, they know and they give you the gamers connection. So I use Ethernet connection through this little port that is a Ethernet splitter. And it was only $10 by tender. And I've been using the same one for almost four years now. And it's a little plastic thing that works wonders. Don't listen to nobody. I'm telling you, the company didn't give me nothing. I buy my own things. So I don't have to go through that. So I have no need to add extra crap to you. This is what works for me. And I don't see why wouldn't it work for you. I have I I, I use an actual 1440p monitor. Four monitors connected at times five and a TV. Two computers. A whole sim rig setup by Fanatec and a larger tech all connected into hubs. And there's one thing, that little connector, still all that boost is through there with a million cables and all that. So I'm going to put the link to that also there. That's a switcher, which you connect your Ethernet cable to. And it could come from anywhere. But remember, you need to pay for the highest internet service. If you're a streamer and you plan on making content, why wouldn't you pay a hundred and something dollars or whatever it is where you live a month so that your video quality looks amazing? Because the bottom line is when you go right here, pop into your OBS studio, I'm going to show you. I showed you my bit rate. This is on my main PC when I'm not streaming, right? Look, video, let's go to output. Look, this is for streaming 25,000 bit rate. Can you see it right there? It's, that says 25,000. Maybe I need to put it sharper. I don't know how that's gonna look to you guys, but I want you to see this, bro. Hold on, ping, so you can see there's no cap. I never lie, bro, ping. Let's probably like lower it a little bit because the color was kind of too crazy. So ping. Now, Jesus, how do I get to that again? Oh, okay, right here. Ping. So hopefully it's, everything is more uh, pop, pop. So why I turned it green? Oh, I get it because I'm using the... All right, so whatever. It says 25,000, bro. That's 25,000 there, and for recording, it's 40,000. So in order to do that, you need a major strong connection. As you can see, I stream on my main PC at 25,000 bit rate, right? And I record at 40,000 in my streaming PC, like when I'm do PC streaming, so that means I'm only gaming on one computer, and I'm, the stream is going out to the other one. I put the stream at 23,000 bit rate. And I record in 30,000 bit rate. And it should be the other way around. But I try not to be too forceful on that graphics card. Because my streaming PC has a 2060 Super Mini. My main PC has a 3060 Ti by MSI. The one with triple fans. The V3. Uh, and I'll put the links to that in the description too, just in case if I remember, but if I don't let me know, but the links will be there where you could get stuff that I use that actually works. Let's check out this game real quick. So it's important. You don't rush through videos when you're trying to learn things. Cause you're really trying to learn something. Right. And that's the only way to get it is to pay attention and you can't watch a shorts video to learn all that. It's not going to work. So this is the way it's probably gonna look. Hopefully, I think it's kind of like a little too bright, but this is definitely 14. Oh wait, I don't know if you can hear me. This is definitely 1440p. And this is the game. This is a uh, Call of Duty, Warzone, Modern Warfare. It just started playing with a major upload. And this is from one monitor to another, and they 1080p monitors. 
stretched out in the uh, uh, in uh, OBS, you didn't have to stretch it out because I changed the numbers from 1080p to 2560 times 1440, right? And then you could just hit stretch the screen if you want to, if it don't do it on its own or whatever, but you don't need to do it in the NVIDIA control panel if you do it in OBS Studios. But mind you, remember when I first showed you that the two monitor, the, the monitors were mix match? You got to make sure they match. And that's why it's pixelated. So I didn't really have to get into the whole gameplay because you just saw a little something there. But if it's a must, this is my favorite multiplayer uh, shipment. I don't know how it's going to look because I didn't fix the coloration. I just stretched the... You know what I mean. I changed it in NVIDIA and all that. You already know. If you know about this game, it's a mission for it to upload. So Now, when your game uploads and you do all that, some of your games are going to be half. <clears throat> I don't know if you can notice it right now that after the game like fully uploaded, it's one screen is like red on this side. It's half. Something is missing. It's small, right? So here's why. Your game, you was playing it in 1080p. You changed everything to 1440, right? Now you got to go into the game settings. Go into graphics. And right here where it says display resolution, right above me, you're going to tap that, pop. And where it says, you could put it on auto, but I just go right to it where it says, 2560 by 1440 pop i hit that and you apply these settings in the bottom it says apply these settings somewhere you can't see it because i'm there right so unless i remove myself from there and i'll do that so you see it right there it's right here apply these settings you press on that pop it's gonna go off for a second but it's gonna stretch I'll be right back right now. Ping. So you got to make sure that. Uh, hopefully I pop right back up with no problem. Hello. <laughs> so while I was trying to pop back up, the screen was opening and closing. Because remember, you changed it from four, from 1080 to 1440p. So you see how it got small and all this. And everything just started going crazy. Don't get nervous. You have to re go over here if you want it to be big. Pop, right? And open it up. You know how to do that. And then the game is going to be right here in the bottom. It's You see how, how the tray goes down? It's in the task uh, tray. And it says black. It's black right here. And it says Call of Duty. Tap on it. Pop. And now you could just get out unless you're going to change different things and different settings. I'm good leaving it like that. Uh, so I'll just get out and I'm back in the game and the game is in 1440p now. It's the long way, pop. So we go to 24-hour shipment, 24-7 uh, shipment, hit start, and it's going to load and it's going to play in 1440p. And you're going to be able to tell it's 1440p because it's going to be like uh, a lot of different coloration is going to look brighter. It doesn't even matter to tell you the truth. It's just the right way to do it. You can stretch OBS on its own. You don't got to change it in NVIDIA control panel. But that might not work for you. But I just like to change it all around the board and make it 1440p officially. So there we in the game. Contact. As you can see, I died. It's not about how good I play. It's about the graphics. Hopefully it's all right. Mind you, it's at 30. Pit rate, 30,000 for recording. Jesus, I haven't played this in so long. I just wanted like a fast game. 
Now you could put up the coloration or put it down if it looks kind of dry or whatever to you. You know what I mean? Holy snap. We got to practice a little more. I'm not really concerned about that. I'm concerned about showing you. Like this is what works for me. But I definitely want to try to get a kill, bro. At least. What the fuck? Holy snap. I think we quit, guys. What you think about the video? I think the coloration looks amazing. Let me know what you think. Did you like the coloration in 1440? That's how you turn 1080p monitors into 1440. If you watch a shorts video, you're not going to learn. Now, here's what you could do in NVIDIA control panel. You could go back down. You could call this a bonus. Bing. And there's a thing right here. And this in the bottom right here, the second one where it says display is the coloration. You tap on it. This is going to pop out. So let's say you're not there. You're over here still at resolution while you was dealing with. You see that? The capture card is at 60. It's cool. Leave it at 60. Your monitor is what it's at, at a higher thing. And I leave it on limit. Everything on limit. On limit. You get it? Limit it. Ping. So then you go to the second one. Ping. And this is the coloration that your main PC will be shooting into the other PC. The reason why I only got it at 58 is because, remember, I have another capture card on my streaming thing. But if you don't, you're going to have one capture card sending the ink to both monitors. So you're going to have to deal with it like this. You get it? The reason why I have it like this is so when I'm not, when my streaming PC is not on, I still get to deal with it from here. You get it? But I could put super coloration by putting it on, on my streaming PC. Because it has its own graphics card with its own NVIDIA. I don't know if you understand. But you could put it up. Bing. And you can make it darker or whatever. And it's going to make that screen brighter or more colorful or darker or whatever. You see? You could tell it, 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 it does. Bing. Bing. You can look at the characters and tell the difference from before. And now when I'm going to shut it off and put it back to the way I had it before, when it comes back, you'll be able to tell the difference. So let's cancel whatever I did. Ping. And now let's open it up. Ping. And if you compare both pictures, you could tell like I, it was definitely brighter before. I don't know. Things like that that work for me, bro. Let me know if you got anything out of videos like this for your gameplay. And if you would like to see it again, send the links in the description. Thank you for tuning in. My main platform is there in the links.